Andy Pants here with another Swirly News video on our technique kit. This month we received some really gorgeous gelatos and some wonderful watercolor papers from Tattered Angels Mistables. And we've just been going gelato crazy. But today I kind of wanted to focus on those papers. And so this layout that I did at the beginning of the month was with the brushed cotton paper that came in the kit and this is done with gelatos now the gelatos I found on this paper they tend to sit on the watercolor paper and they completely wipe off you can end up having a completely clean slate um, if you take a paper towel and just wipe wipe them off they don't really soak into the paper because it is such a heavy weight paper and it does take time these did soak in, but again, you can see how light they are. They just give a very whitewashed effect. The stamping looks phenomenal on this brushed cotton. I really, really enjoyed this brushed cotton paper. And so I decided that I was going to play with the brushed cotton a little bit more. I don't have a lot left. I did want to do a mask. And so I did an embossing where I just clear embossed with embossing powders. This is the piece that I tried to do the gelatos on and I was able to just wipe those off. They didn't really soak in. And what I used here was the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Tiger Lily and Aquamarine. And you can kind of see the puddling and the pooling that it does. It really gives this awesome kind of effect. Um, it's a little grungy where the gelatos stuck to the embossing mask or the embossed image. So I would strongly recommend if you want to do an embossed image that you not use gelatos to color your paper. It just doesn't work very well. The mists work much better. The mists do soak in nicely, but not as much as they do on regular paper. And here's another I tried it again on the back and another technique. These are the dilution sprays. This is actually a purple color and as it pooled and you, I took my paper towel and dabbed it ended up coming up pink. Just a really cool effect. So I decided from playing with this that I wanted to do a layout. Now because I didn't have any of the brushed cotton left, I had to use the suede. And the suede reacted a little bit different. So do remember when working with these papers that they do react differently to one another, than one another. And so this is the layout that I did. And you can see my embossed image here in the corner. And again, I use the dilution sprays. And this is the suede paper. The mist kind of sat on the paper, so you were able to do a run. And when it would run, I don't know if you can see that streak there. When it would run, it would actually lift the color that was already on there. And because this watercolor paper is so thick, you can do layer upon layer of color and really saturate the paper with color and you don't lose the integrity of the paper. The paper is fantastic. It feels like fabric. It just works really well. So I made a video on how I made step by step how I made the colors and the embossing for this background. So go ahead and watch the video and I sincerely hope you enjoyed these papers as much as I have. So here you see me stamping with just a top boss embossing ink and then using a clear embossing powder because I just wanted to see how the embossing worked on these mistables papers. This is the suede paper that I'm working with and the colors that I'm using are the dilution sprays And because this watercolor paper is so thick, you can see I'm just doing layer after layer of color. And it takes a moment for it to soak in. 
but it allows you to put all these different colors one on top of another. And that embossed image just shows up so nicely against the sprays. And there I tried Tattered Angels and didn't like it, but I did notice I liked the way that the drips looked on the paper. And then I just took a lid of my Mod Podge and just made circles in the ink. 